one thing when we when we joined the ranks of the CWD positive states a couple of years ago, um, one thing we doubled down on from the social science side was getting a handle on people's uh, activities as it related to putting out food on the land. Did I and I say that specifically, putting out food on the land, meaning you know the term baiting and the term feeding are kind of preloaded for different purposes but just simply mm -hmm. what people are putting out for whatever purpose that might be how much of that is happening and how much money are they spending on it and and you correct me if you remember the, the number wrong but i think in a year's time our estimate was that annually there's about 150 million pounds of corn that folks are putting out on the land for wildlife in north carolina that's a, that's a sort of a staggering number to think about, and that and that would be that would be all um, animal, all species of wildlife together. So deer, yeah. bear, songbirds, you know, whatever. Then, but it's primarily deer and bear, um, and that's just the corn. You know, there's big numbers for sweet potatoes that's, and other stuff too. I'm gonna need some Alabama math on that wheel. Can, <laughs> do you guys know, like, what is on average per square mile per year or something like that or oh you can do that i mean you, any you sort can of do measure. math on it we'd have to look at how many square miles there are in north carolina but most most people that responded to our survey um and it, it was a good good sample size in survey I, i'm trying to remember off the top of my head you know typical property sizes that people would be managing or hunting or putting you know you that they were baiting or feeding you know, it would be in the Piedmont, you might be on 100 or 200 acres. In some places in the coast, that property size might be up in the thousands. And typically, folks would have one to three or four sites that they would put out feed on it's for whatever purpose. Again, it could be for getting pictures or just holding animals on the property or for getting mm -hmm. them in the right place to shoot animals, you know, for hunting. But it was it was not folks putting out 10 or 15 or 20 different baited sites, but typically one to three or maybe four places where they would put out feed. So, you know, what that works out to per acre, I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to do math on that. I can't. Yeah, like at least one per 50, it sounds like. But I'm, and then I wonder how much they're putting into the feeder. I came out with 3,000 pounds per square mile per year. Yeah. That's, that's, about, that's probably about right. Wow. A ton per square mile per year. A little look, or a ton and a half. There's a lot of corn, man. It is, especially if you think about how most of people are putting that corn out during deer season. Oh, and that, so see, yeah, so that, I'm glad you said that, Anna, because that was, you know, that was one of the, the decision that, but well, a bunch of decisions that you know the commission is trying to struggle with on CWD management and deer hunting management. You know how does that interplay with? I know it's a turkey podcast, but you know that has bearing on bear hunting. It has bearing on turkey hunting. They're feeding in the fall. That's a mm -hmm. that's a barrier to having the fall turkey season stuff. But one of the things we were looking at was you know how would that impact deer hunting? And it was like Hannah said, it really the vast majority of that corn was being used. Deer in the fall, deer in the open deer season. So the rule that we have right now in our CWD surveillance areas or CWD management areas, you know, prohibits putting out food outside of the deer season. So basically September through the end of December, it's legal to use corn or whatever natural food you wanted, uh, essentially for hunting during the fall. But then the rest of the year, it's, it's prohibited in those areas. So. That was really good data to see uh, in that survey that that was not um, going to be something that would change people's enjoyment of hunting because they couldn't put that food out all year round. 